Did you know your kids can actually play games within the Nearpod platform? When Nearpod added this feature, I was amazed. Typically, my kids only like playing games using like Kahoot, but when Nearpod went ahead and added the Time to Climb game, I was all in. So today I'm gonna show you how to create your own Time to Climb game within the Nearpod platform. Aja, I help you bring fun and excitement back to teaching by giving you really fun games, really fun tips, really fun strategies to get your kids really engaged. If this sounds like you, then go ahead and like, subscribe, and click the bell. It's that bell notification that will allow you to know each and every time I upload a new video. So today we're going to cover exactly how to edit and create your own Time to Climb game within Nearpod. So let's go ahead and show you my computer. We are going to create our own Time to Climb game, but we're gonna do this two ways. The first thing we're gonna do is actually create an already existing Time to Climb game that is already in the Nearpod library. The second thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually teach you how to create your own Time to Climb game from a quiz. In order to find one that's already made, we're going to go to the Nearpod library, and then we're gonna simply type Right there at the top and what it's going to do is going to pull all the time to climb games that are already in the nearpod library then over to the left we're actually going to kind of filter the games because as you see it's going to give you all the grade levels all the subjects everything i'm only looking for math first grade game so i'm going to go math first grade perfect now it gives me only the math games that are geared towards first grade well, I really want to do missing numbers and it's right there. Here I get to preview or see the game. If I'm like, yep, this is the game, I'll click add to lessons. And voila, I go to show my in my lessons and now I'm ready to push out the game. Then what you would do is go to live participation and I will give all my kids that code. Now, kids can take this at their own time. However, I find it works better with kids if they all take it at the same time. That kind of amps them up because kids are just as competitive as we are. <laughs> so here's the code. I can copy the code and give this to my kids. And the really cool thing is you can actually change up the thing. So I can do Himalaya, space, or underwater. Doesn't matter. The questions are the same. Now, as of right now, I have all my kids taking the taking the game at the same time and right now they're doing the same questions at the same time but if you're like face to face in a classroom and you don't want kids copying each other you can always turn on randomize the answers so this way they're not in the same order so i might be on question one while you're on question five and this way you know if kids are actually doing it by themselves however if you're like online or on zoom i would just leave it off that way you can kind of monitor which questions people are on all right so i hit continue this is what it looks like on the kids perspective they get to choose their avatar so on your screen once the kids have chosen their avatar they'll start populating on your screen you click start and the game is ready to go find a time to climb game that is already done so now let me show you how to create your own time to climb game okay so let's say you already have a nearpod lesson that you are ready to go but you want to add the time to climb game to it for this lesson there's already a quiz so i'm going to go to the quiz and i am going to edit the quiz because these questions will become my time to climb questions So once I have my answer choices, I'm going to go to the left and go ahead and click the check of the correct answer. Once you have the amount of questions you want, maybe you want 10 questions on your quiz, it doesn't matter. You're gonna save it. So in the bottom left hand corner, you're gonna click save. And what it's gonna do is save your quiz and then you'll be able to convert your quiz to time to climb. So it's automatically right here in the upper right hand corner every time you edit a quiz. 
So I'm going to convert it. Yes. So it's going to automatically create a copy of it. So I have the regular quiz and I have the time to climb. Well, I don't want the quiz anymore, so I can delete it. I only want the time to climb. So let's say you want it just the time to climb by itself. You're going to click create and you're going to create an activity. Okay. So with the activity, you're automatically going to be given three options. Matching pairs, time to climb, or draw it. Well, clearly we want time to climb. <laughs> So now you can actually enter all of your questions. You can also add images. So let's say you have an image that you're wanting to see if the kids can answer questions on. You can go ahead and upload it right here where it says add reference image. For me, I'm gonna just give them a text and say, now don't forget if you don't click the check, it will not be able to recognize which answer is the correct answer. So always click that check. When you're done, click save. Well, there you have it. That is how you make your own time to climb game within Nearpod. Now, if you want to know how to actually use Nearpod, I have that video right here. And I also will post the link to that video down below in the description. In that video, I'm literally giving you a full blown Nearpod tutorial, how to go from an existing Nearpod to your very own one of a kind interactive Nearpod lesson. So go ahead and check out that video. And if you want even more teaching videos and more teaching games, I have you covered in this playlist. I'll see you guys in the next video.